Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this video is about uh, how to create private name servers. Uh, and private name servers basically uh, having a name server, an NS1 and an NS2 address that's, uh, that you're, that's your own brand. And uh, if, if you switch over to VPS hosting at some stage and, and you try out a virtual private server, um, you, you'll find you're offered uh, private name servers. So rather than get something like ns1.bluehost or ns1.hostgator.com, you'll end up with ns1.yourdomain.com, in my case ns1.wordpresssites.net and ns2.wordpresssites.net. Now the reason they created uh, private name servers is for branding purposes and mainly for uh, hosting resellers and, and a lot of uh, VPS um, VPS clients use VPS for for reselling hosting. Uh, it's not the reason I use it, I use it because I, 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 I like to have the power of VPS and, um, and I'm adding a lot of content and I've got a lot of activity on the site every day so that's the reason I use VPS which is a uh, it's, it's, it's a step up from shared hosting but it's uh, you're getting the functions of a of a full dedicated server without the cost you know it's significantly cheaper than, than, than renting a full dedicated server so it's, it's quite affordable and I've just switched over to VPS I tried it a few months ago and I went back to a pro account for a while but uh, my account was uh, continually throttled and slowed down because of the resource use and uh, so I've, I've gone back to VPS and it looks like I'm going to stay at VPS for a while now so uh, so the first step in setting up VPS is, is setting up the private name servers and I've written a full blog post on how to do it including screenshot scro sc screenshots it's pretty straightforward but uh, it's, it's, it's something that's fairly new to most people. So uh, the first step you need to do is to go into your domain manager. So your domain, wherever your domain's been registered, uh, your domain registrar, and go into the control panel for this particular domain. It's at NetFirms. Um, I'm actually transferring it over to GoDaddy at some stage, but. Uh, just, just, just. If you're with net firms, it'll be it'll be different. The process will be a little bit different depending on on, on who manages it. Um, but uh, this this is for net firms. I've also got a list on my side. It's got a link here, um, and it's got information uh, relevant to to a range of different domain managers, as you can see here. So if you're using any of these, you click on these links and it'll, it'll show you exactly how to change them. So that link's available in my latest blog post. But just getting back to NetFirms, to, to, to create your own private name servers, uh, basically you, uh, you go to your domain and then you click on uh, DNS, it's normally DNS, uh, click on Modify, and then private name servers and you can see down here there's two there's two fields that you need to enter the information into one's called host and the other one's called points to and I've already done these because I'm, I'm actually using them at the moment so so what you do in the first box is you'll put NS1 and then you'll put the uh, the address and the address you'll receive when you sign up for VPS They'll, they'll, they'll say, okay, this is your, these are your private name servers, ns1.yourdomain.com, and, and they'll give you the, uh, the IP address. So uh, this is it here, and, and you put this in, and then you just click Add, and then you go to NS2, and you put the same thing in. It'll be a different number on the end, and, uh, and then you just create them. So that's how you do it. It's, it's pretty straightforward to create them and then you have to actually go into um, your web hosting manager WHM which, you, which is a control panel for VPS and you need to do a few things in there and I'll show you what they are now so once you log into v, um, WHM uh, make sure you're, you're in, in the home tab uh, click on DNS functions and you'll come come to uh, another screen and find edit DNS zone. 
uh, go down to your domain, don't touch any of the other ones, go down into your domain, highlight it, highlight it and click edit. And then you have to come down the bottom of the screen where it says below, uh, add new entries below this line and this is what you need to do. You need to put in NS1 and you need to create A records. So you put in NS1, this is a drop down here so you click this and make sure this is A and then you put in that address again. The one you've just added to uh, to create your name server with your domain manager and we go down here and you put in NS2, A record and put that address in again and that's it. You basically save that and there's your, uh, you've created the private name servers and you've activated them. So, uh, so now you can move on to the next step to set up VPS. I'll just go through that again if it wasn't clear. I've logged into WHM. So we click on DNS functions, edit DNS zone. Now the information that you need you would have got in your welcome email and you, and you would have put this into your domain manager to create the, uh, the private name servers. Here, here's my information here. Um, now we go down to this one here, your domain. Click on edit. Now we just scroll down here. And you can see mine have already been created there in this one in this two. But if you haven't done it, just put it in here. NS1, select A. Now just delete this. And the information you would have got when you open the account with your uh, VPS account. You put the first one in, and that's it. And then you go to the second one, NS2, A record, like that. So that's all you do. That's all. That's all you need to do, and uh, obviously you you uh, you save the changes. I've already I've already created these, so I won't do it again. And you don't need to do that for every domain. You only do it for the primary domain on your VPS account, and that's all. That's all you need to do it for. So, so that's all there is to it. There's more information on my site if you get stuck. Um, I've covered the full process there. If you're interested in VPS, um, if you're using a pro account at the moment and you're finding that uh, you're suffering downtime or a very slow site, you may uh, you may consider VPS. VPS plans start from around uh, thirty thirty five dollars a month. Um, I'm using VPS level three uh, with cPanel which is I think sort of the entry level if you want a uh, good quality uh, VPS and, and you're comfortable using cPanel. Um, so if, you, if, if you're serious about VPS I'd have a look at HostGator. Uh, you can use a coupon code WordPress Sites and that'll get you 25% off for the first month and HostGator also offer a free transfer service as well. So uh, they're, they're quite happy to transfer all your files and databases and uh, everything over from your old server to your new server so you don't have to set up email addresses or you don't have to set up any customization you've made whatsoever they'll, they'll take care of everything and uh, and it's a very good free service they offer so uh, so so consider that if you're uh, if you're interested in VPS cheers